Hi friends, sorry, sorry. welcome back to my channel. In our last tutorial, we have learned about DML triggers uh, like before insert, before delete, before update. Today, we are going to see one more example of that which will give you more vision to use trigger and you know get to know get uh, to know in better way how trigger actually works and what we can do with triggers actually. So, for that uh, purpose, I have created two tables here one is EMP table, another one is EMP underscore audit table. So, EMP is our main table, this is our base table actually, we can say. Okay, so what and what this EMP audit table is, this is gonna, you know, record our activity with whatever we will be doing with EMP table. Okay, so uh, if we are going to insert any data on our in our EMP table, so this EMP table EMP audit table will store the activity that we have inserted in the data when we have inserted the data. What was the what is the new value? what we have inserted into EMP table okay so in the same way if we will uh, update any data uh, table uh, sorry update any data uh, of this table of EMP table so we will get to know that what was the previous value what was the previous data uh, of our EMP in our EMP table so that data will get stored in our new name of EMP audit table and the old value will uh, new value will get stored here the old value will get stored in our old underscore name uh, uh, column actually and when the operation get performed we'll get to know here from created on uh, column and what operations we have performed like insert or update or delete so all these activity we can watch through this you know EMP audit table so this will just you know give us what operation has been performed on that table and what was the data we have inserted or what was the data get updated of on that table actually okay so let's let me create this table first let's copy this code and uh, paste in our SQL workshop and run this query so our EMP table get created now let's come to sublime text and uh, create our EMP underscore audit table control C and paste it here control V and run this query so our EMP underscore audit table got created which is having four columns okay now let's come to uh, our trigger actually so this is the trigger what I have written which will give us all the information which will you know record all the things whether we will be performing insert command or update command or delete command on EMP table okay so so uh, let's uh, let's see what is happening here okay so I have created a trigger create or replace trigger the name of the trigger is BIUD underscore EMP BIUD means before insert update delete so this is all up to you whatever you wanna give you can give here okay for my purpose I just give this in such a way that I could get to know that what exactly by the name itself I could get to know that what exactly is gonna do, do this uh, you know trigger actually so what I'm going to do here before insert or update or delete on EMP table for each row so here our program get started I'm declaring a variable here v underscore date so and I'm storing sys date into this v underscore date uh, column sorry variable so our uh, current time or system uh, systems current time will get stored in our v underscore date uh, column uh, variable actually okay so then after what I'm doing here I've just written that if inserting then what what should happen if inserting then insert into EMP underscore audit table this is our audit table actually so all these with all these four columns so this new column will store new value colon new dot name it means that we are going to store new value so whatever new value getting insert, inserted in our EMP table the same value we will insert here also okay old value there will not be any old value so I, I just have written null v date is the current date and the operation is insert actually so I have written insert here okay else if updating then insert into EMP table so if we are updating any data of uh, EMP table so we will insert here what we will insert we will insert new day da new da uh, new data in our uh, uh, new name column and old data in our old name column after updating old data will get replaced with new data so we are storing old data here as well okay how we can store colon old dot name okay so this is how we you know we can store old data and we can insert new data using colon new and colon old okay and this v data v date is like uh, we are taking systems current date so this will give us result when actually uh, operation get performed and here i have written update it means update operation has been performed in this table okay on our EMP table and the same I, I'm doing here for delete actually so if else if deleting then insert into our EMP audit table and what we will insert 
uh, at the place of new name we will not get any data because we are deleting data from EMP table so a new name column will be null then old name column will be colon old dot name then this is our current time and this is the operation delete what we are performing here okay so let me run uh, let me copy this code and run it in our SQL workshop so let's copy it control C and paste in our SQL workshop remove this and paste it here now run this command so as you can see we have created the trigger actually okay so our trigger has been created so here we have uh, you know two tables one is our base table EMP table which is which is having no data currently let me do so let's start from EMP okay so we don't have any data in our EMP table and we don't have any data in our uh, the audit table EMP underscore audit table okay so let me run this query as well so as you can see we don't have any data so what I'm going to do I'm going to insert you know uh, I'm going to run an insert query on this EMP table okay so uh, insert into EMP and then values so we'll write any name here suppose mark I'm writing and run this query so as you can see we have inserted a row into our EMP table so let's see what happens with EMP underscore audit table so as you can see we got the value something like this new name mark old name we don't have any old name actually when it has been created on this date and what operations we have performed insert operation actually okay let me do uh, let me perform an update command here on this EMP table so update EMP set name is equal to like we are we you can write anything I'm writing here Steve where uh, name is mark okay so I'm saying update the value with uh, replace the mark as Steve actually okay so let's run this query we run this we run this query actually now select start from EMP underscore audit table and this is as you can see we got the second record we got it as new name as Steve old name as mark which is actually getting replaced by Steve so we are getting old name as well and the date and the operation so as, as you can see we have performed update operation and same thing we got here okay so hope this uh, example is also clear to you now let me run one more query here one more uh, command will will be running this time delete command so delete from sorry delete uh, spelling is not correct so what we'll be doing delete from EMP that's it will be just deleting but you can write where as well no problem where EMP where uh, our name is equal to mark or Steve actually okay so let's delete it so we have deleted now run this our audit table let's see what is there in audit table so as you can see we have performed delete command when we have performed on this date was the old name Steve uh, was the old name which wa which got deleted actually and we don't have any new name okay so hope this uh, thing is clear to you this example and you know the vision to create the trigger and how we can use the trigger with all these you know things you, you can use this for audit purpose if any user is uh, you know performing any operation insert or delete or update command so you can keep an eye on that that what is actually happening with our base table okay so hope this example and uh, you know concept is clear to you for any confusion or doubt let me know in comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel please like and share the video if you really feel that the, this is gonna helpful to you thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much